The story of a people is told best by those who live it out daily. And when the history of that community is informative, inspirational, and insightful, it should then be shared with the world. The Clio Exchange does that. And what I think the point that we've got to continue to make to our young people is that they've got to be able to step up to the window and collect that portion of that. Preparation, attitude, uh, scholarship, uh, confidence in who they are. All of that is what we ask them to do. And that we as adults have to be willing to meet them. We got to be willing to help them. And we ought to be able to not have each generation to have to go through the same learning curve. Mm -hmm. In 1957, uh, there had to be peer pressure on both sides of town. Can you talk to us about what kind of peer pressure you experienced on both sides of the city? Well, in, in terms of, uh, of peer pressure from the white students, um, most of the uh, white students were, I would say, non in, not involved, neutral, uh, part of the silent majority. Uh, the problem that we had with a, a fairly active uh, vocal group, White Citizens Council and other uh, uh, organizations were, you know, physical harassment, telephone calls in the middle of the night, threats on our lives, um, um, locker rooms and, and gym, uh, glass on the floor. Uh, it was sort of a, uh, a, a constant harassment, and it, it increased significantly when the, uh, uh, when the federal troops were withdrawn from inside the school from about February uh, the second semester until the time that I graduated that May, uh, it was a steady stream of, uh, of uh, constant harassment. Interesting thing, though, as I got closer to my graduation, there were finally a group of students who uh, uh, attempted to befriend us. And at that point, you know, I'd, anybody in this room who's my age or older, uh, anybody white who stepped up uh, to play an active role in civil rights was, uh, was completely ostracized in their community. Uh, and uh, there are a few choice words I can use uh, this, uh, that uh, I won't uh, <laughs> utter at this point. But the, the pressure on them was enormous, not to have anything to do, to try to isolate us, mm -hmm. to uh, try to make uh, life uh, more difficult. In terms of black students, uh, uh, I had a cadre of friends that really did support. I, most students um, probably were uh, unsure where to stand. Uh, I found that all of the uh, black students that we interacted with uh, were proud of what we had accomplished. Um, like uh, many people were following pretty much on a daily basis, uh, our saga, and uh, thought that at the end of it that our being successful in, at Central was going to be uh, a plus for the broader community mm -hmm. and wanted to see us succeed there. But one doesn't go into any of this uh, expecting huge accolades initially. Ernie, I couldn't have said it better. And on that, I want to thank you for joining us. And uh, I hope we'll have an opportunity to maybe get you back on the Clio Exchange. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank very you very much. much. Uh, <laughs> thanks, buddy.